Hey guys, what's up? Um, as you can see right now, I have Logic Pro open. Um, this is just going to be a quick tutorial about Logic Pro. Um, basically, what I want to show you guys is um, something that a lot of people, especially me, when I first used Logic, I had no idea how to actually put down um, different notes on this uh, keyboard here. And that can be a real problem, because, I mean, you're thinking you're over here, and you're like, alright, you know, I got the pencil tool going, it's like, well, why can't I click, you know? And if you set this to the pencil tool, okay, never mind, I was just an idiot and uh, didn't know how to do it. But, um, you have to uh, hit command to get to this second one. Wow, I guess that's why I'm such an idiot. I just realized that. So, um, you just do that and then you play it through. Oh, I got other tracks going. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how you set it there. But that's the hard way of doing it. The easy way is just to get rid of the p And by the way, I'm sorry if this is laggy because it's Logic Pro and I'm on a Mac Mini. And yeah, screen flow or, or screen. Yeah, screen flow. Um, it's what I'm capturing with, so all that. But um, if we close the piano roll, um, we can see here, this is just something I made a couple minutes ago. Um, and I used something called the Caps Lock Keyboard. And all you do is you hit Caps Lock and it brings up this little keyboard here. Just kind of move it where you can see it. And as you can see, it's basically a keyboard like you have. And as you go down, sorry about that, as you go down on the keyboard, it plays those notes. See what I'm saying? And then down here, these buttons are, I think these are volume controls, what it seems like, because you play, and if you come down here, it's not as loud, see what I'm saying? See? So yeah, and then up here you have your octaves, these one through uh, zero is just your different octaves. On some you actually can't even get that low to the different octaves. See? That's as low as I can go with this instrument. So yeah. And what you do, let me move this out of the way. Well, actually, let me just... Uh, um, have this one okay so what you do is you just come down here and hit record or you can hit the little um what's it called the little plus with the two extra the star looking thing on the number pad you just hit that and it'll start recording and then you just play on the keyboard and it'll record it let me get something that sounds a little better huh? that's weird not uh, giving me anything. That's really weird. Oh, wow, well, I'm an idiot. It's because I'm silenced. Alright, let's do this one. Okay, that'll be good. So all we do is we hit either down here, record. Um, and actually, I'm gonna make that one the only track here. Or you can just hit this button on the keyboard. And we'll do that now. absolutely sound like crap but you guys get the idea and then you can go down here in the piano roll and you can see where it recorded all your stuff so if we go back to the beginning here so yeah that's how you do that and then um, oh by the way a quick tip if you hit the uh, forward slash button It'll cut wherever you're at. So you can just do it like that, go through and delete all that. Um, so yeah, I want to just show you a little something. I mean, this was just with a regular piano, and then I got a, like a drum beat. And I mean, it, it was the easiest thing in the world to do.
and obviously you could have other things um, playing with the drums and whatnot, but this is just to show you guys what you can do with it. And as you can see here, if I select this track and I open the piano roll or hit the key P, it'll open up the piano roll and I can see that. See all the notes that as it goes there. So it's pretty cool, um, pretty easy to do, <clears throat> and um, I mean, it's just, it's cool. And you can do this with any instrument, this caps lock keyboard. This is actually cool, this one. Kind of sounds annoying after a while, but it sounds pretty cool. So you get the point. Um, yeah, and like I said, you can, I mean, even, even like drums, you know, you can. Here, let me, I mean, it's, there we go. It's like totally easy. So yeah, that's the caps lock keyboard in Logic Pro or um, Logic Studio or yeah, Logic Studio or uh, Logic Pro Express or whatever you have. Sorry about that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys another time. Later.